एंड दिस इज एक्चुअली अ फ्लैश कार्ड बेस्ड एप फ्रॉम प्रेगनेंसी चार्ट टू डरमाटो मैप्स टू आई चार्ट एंड दिस एप इज गेनिंग अ लॉट ऑफ पॉपुलरिटी अमंग द स्टूडेंट बट दिस एप इज गो सॉल्व योर प्रॉब्लम I'm going to tell you the top 5 apps for medical students and doctors and we are starting right now. And apart from these 5 medical apps there is one bonus app that is a complete game changer. I myself have been using this app for just 1 year now and it has completely changed the way I work or the way I study. So stay tuned till the end to know about this bonus app. Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Tara Khan. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I share with you clinic and exam related productivity tips and strategies if this is your first time here start now by subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss anything see medical is tough and for a reason it should be because at the end of the day you are actually dealing with human life you are not dealing with computers you are not dealing with machines so what you know what you study today some day is going to affect someone's life so one of the best ways to get your crucial daily studying done is to utilize your in between times that you get throughout your day just think if you are able to use the time waiting for the bus or for the cab then the commuting time or the time between the lectures or the time waiting for your partner to get ready you would find that by the end of the day you have gotten a good chunk of work done so what is the best way to do this obviously you are not going to carry your books everywhere around you so for this there are extremely useful apps that you can carry in your mobile and whenever you have time just go through these apps the first app that i'm going to talk about is brain escape and this is actually a flashcard based app and this is available in both web and mobile platforms so if you know flashcard then you are definitely going to love this app let me directly go into the app actually this app is intended for learners who want to learn understand and memorize large amount of informations in very short time so once you launch the app you will be able to find huge collection of flashcards but what i want you to do is go to search and in search as you can see there are many categories are there but directly go to search and search for the topic or search for the subject that you want to study say you want to study medicine okay so just type medicine and you can see there are so many students and these flashcards are made by top students and educators and as you can see there are so many flashcards so just tap on to one and uh, let's say this and there are you see there are different systems dermatology endocrine uh, gi nutrition there are so many uh, chapters in medicine say enter this there are sub chapters okay so just start studying and here you get it so second degree mobits type 1 heart block has dash risk to develop into complete heart block so you reveal the answer and this is your answer now the best thing about this app is that it has a very sophisticated space repetition algorithm now if you want to know about space repetition i have already made a video you can check the video here now out of 1 to 5 say how well you know this say 3 okay so according to the number that you give to each and every question it will pop out again in future okay so this is the next question reveal answer then go to again the next question reveal answer so you can do this you can continue doing this okay now say you want to study some other uh, subject let's say community medicine and you will find a lot of flash cards again okay and see the number of learners says how good the flash card is this one has uh, 93 learners you can even load more for more flash cards okay so let's say this one see these flash cards are made by individual users so you may not be able to find every topic every chapter within a one flash card so what you need to do is search for it and then save it for future purposes say you want to study about epidemiology okay start studying yeah so what is the definition of community medicine if you already knew the definition very good you knew it perfectly then it comes the next question what is public health reveal answer so this is the way that you will be studying with flash card next say you want to study about anatomy and then you can see there are so many flash cards on anatomy let's go into the first one itself okay now this is image based which is very nice so name the components of the eye layer a b and c reveal answer these are the components how well you know this say four name veins a and b so this is basically what the app is and whether you are into practice or whether you are preparing for any competitive exam this app is going to help you a lot the next app is prognosis and this is also a free app available both on android and on apple store this app is actually for practicing your diagnostic and decision making skills so let us go into the app so once you are into the app what i want you to do is go into catalogs 
here you can find all the subjects all the subjects and mostly all the topics you will find here say you want to study again medicine in medicine i want you to go directly to topics first okay say you want to study about atrial fibrillation okay so just download it and open it now this is a case that is given about atrial fibrillation okay and these are kind of cases that are coming in your exams in your aipgt exams in your upsc cmo exams so these are the cases that i want you to study and these are also helpful for your clinics so you just go through this clinic case and try to diagnose then go to continue investigation if you want to order any investigation you if that is the case you want to order ecg so you just go through ecg it will show you what were the ecg reports okay chest x-ray these are the chest x-ray then you go to review now of course this is a spoiler let us uh, remove this now this is the diagnosis and the reasoning that is for the case that they have provided you can go through this okay and if you want to discuss anything you can even go to the discuss tab and start discussion and there are a lot of discussions that have been going on for this case say you want to study some other topic uh, say ops and gynae or say pediatrics and this is not an entirely free app few portions of this app is free and there are few contents that for that you need to subscribe say here you want to study biliary atresia so you just download it and then open it so this is a case about biliary atresia you go to the clinicals and then you continue so if you want to investigate you can do this or you can directly go to review i mean the process is same okay there will be diagnosis there will be discussions and all and there are also references given for that so that is how the app works so the next app that i'm going to talk about is on anatomy and a lot of the student finds difficulty studying anatomy for their university exams and also preparing for their competitive exams but this app is going to solve your problems so let us directly go into the app first and the name of the app is 3d human and the app is available both on android and on ios and you can just go through the different portions in the app and the thing that i want to show you first is the uh, origin and insertions which you often get asked in your vivas so say you want to study about lower limb so you just go into the lower limb and here you will find all the muscles in the lower limb the origin and the insertion so just tap on it you can even zoom in and zoom out so if you just tap on it you will get to know the name of the muscle so this is the muscle origin for vastus intermedius and blue are the insertion so that is the insertion of gluteus medius and this way you can find the origin and insertion of all the muscles of the human body and another cool thing about this app is go to anatomy quizzes say you want to take a quiz on abdominal wall so you just start the quiz and it will ask you questions and these are diagram based questions also question is left superior epigastric artery you can just zoom in and zoom out so let me just try if i can get this answer so this is the superior uh, left superior epigastric artery so you know that it is somewhere in the epigastrium in the portion of the stomach now this is not very clear uh, what you can do is just get rid of few layers okay so if you just slide here you can get rid of few layers see i have slided until here so probably all the muscles and the superficial structures have gone now i can clearly see all the blood vessels so i think uh, this must be okay so that is correct that is the left hepatic artery i think the highlight my answer this is my left and highlight the correct answer so this is the uh, correct answer which is the uh, superior epigastric artery so this way you can follow all the quizzes and if you want to save you can click this plus icon and you can save it to your library okay so these are the quiz sections which are very helpful for your exam purpose also next if you want to study about heart so you just go into the heart and there you will find the anatomy of the heart and the things related to it so this is a very good app especially when you are preparing anatomy the next app is md calculator see being a doctor requires you to be fluent in a spectrum of formulas and equations and md calculator this app makes your life a lot easier the app contains more than 500 medical equations and formulas that you might require in your opds and in your ipds from pregnancy charts to dermatome maps to eye charts and dosage calculators to growth velocity this app has every possible thing every possible chart every possible scores that you can think of let us directly go into the app say you want to study about a snail and chart so just search here you can find the important things about a snail and chart the instructions ke how to measure ye kaise karke measure kara jaye visual acuity and this is the line suppose the patient is able to read only until line 4 so this is your result and for this what is your next step you can go for advice and for management okay and if you want to read even further for references and more literatures then you go to evidence here you can find the literatures on that then let us uh, randomly search for jones criteria we all know jones major and minor minor criteria so let us jones criteria for arf now these are the criteria when to use 
pearls and pitfalls why use then the next steps what are the advice what is the management and what are the critical actions that you need to take or let us search for urine output urine output over 24 hours you input the weight of the patient the total urine output the hour that you have measured for and the fluid intake and accordingly it will direct you to the next steps the advice the management and what you need to do so this is gonna be a very handy app for all the doctors when you are in your rounds or when you are in your opts the next and the most important app is medscape and this is the app that i think everyone might already be using and even i have been using this app for a lot of time now so the useful things that i find in this app is go to this more section and here you can find all the drugs that have been prescribed now in your clinics you also get patients coming from other doctors as well and you need to know what were the medications that were prescribed for these doctors and what were the effects of those medicines and here you will find a list of all the drugs so you want to know about any drug just tap into the drug and you here you can find all the dosage and indications the interactions if there are any warnings and in pregnancy whether this drug is contraindicated or not and the pharmacology behind it so all of these things might not be useful but a lot of things are definitely useful the next useful thing in this app is this interaction checker now whether you want to uh, check the interaction between two drugs that you whether you can prescribe these two drugs in an individual or not so here you can do that in the interaction checker you just need to add these the name of these two drugs and it will show you whether these two drugs can be simultaneously prescribed in the patient and here you can also see calculators but the previous app the md calculator that i was talking about that is a much better app than this another good thing about the app is the news section here you can always remain updated about the all the happenings that are going on in the medical field so these were the top five apps that i wanted to discuss in the video that i use or i have used in the past for my preparation and now the bonus app that i talked about at the beginning of the video the name of this app is brain.fm and this app is gaining a lot of popularity among the students this app basically creates music for your mind so when you go to the app there are categories like focus relax sleep meditate and let's say you'll be working for a few hours and you want to absolutely focus on your work so you go to this focus set the duration of time you'll be working for and then just start it and put it somewhere at the back you can also use this app for relaxation or for sleep and deep sleep this is basically a productivity app and it gets a lot of things done efficiently now the content of the app is not free it comes with an yearly subscription but if you use this code you will get 20 percent off your subscription now they are not sponsoring this video but i have managed to break a deal with them so that all of you get 20 percent off if you use this code and if you want to add any other app that you think is useful and will be beneficial to the medical students kindly let me know in the comment section below let me know how you like the video give it a thumbs up if you liked it share it with your friends and i'll see you in the next video